is the Tigers who saw their season best six game win streak come to an end Wednesday night. Hi everyone, welcome inside Target Field. I'm Audra Martin. Fresh off of two solid wins against the Chicago White Sox, the Twins now prepare to take on the Detroit Tigers today for the fourth and fifth time in the last week. Today's doubleheader though will be a bit unusual with the Twins as the home team in game one, but the Tigers will be the home team in game two as we make up for one of last week's rained out games. So let's go ahead and set up this unusual five game series. Target Field continues to be the toughest ballpark for visiting teams this season. The Twins are 14 and 4 at home, the best record in baseball while posting a plus 28 run differential. The road, however, has been an issue, just like we saw last weekend when the Twins were swept in Detroit. The Tigers had 27 hits to the Twins 13 and outscored them 15 to 6. But when it comes to the Twins offense, Miguel Sano has been crushing the baseball. Since August 17th, he's slugging 724, and his 14 extra base hits are tied for the most in baseball. Coming up, Justin Morneau returns returns to the booth to join Dick Bramer for a look at the impact Josh Donaldson has on this Twins lineup. And it's all coming your way next. And the strangeness will begin today. The Twins are playing at Target Field. They'll be the home team for game one. But in game two, the Tigers will be the home team. Now, they don't, they're not exchanging clubhouses and dugouts or anything like that, are they? Oh, especially not in the COVID era, that's, <laughs> that's for sure. Well, Randy Dobnak simply had one of those games in his last start against the Tigers. The stuff was there. There were a lot of seeing eye hits. There were some plays that could have been made behind him that weren't made. And uh, so the Tigers beat last year. They're at 500 coming off a loss. Here's the Menards batting order for Detroit in game one. Victor Reyes leading things off. Jonathan Scope, Miguel Cabrera, Jamer Candelario, Willie Castro, Kristen Stewart, Travis Demerit, Austin Romine, and Isak Paredes. Today's starting pitcher stats brought to you by Home Furniture. Take a look at Randy Dobnik. As you said, a little rough start in his last time out, but he's looking to rebound here. Biggest key for him is going to be strike one today. Facing Victor Reyes. There's a strikeout of Reyes for the first out of the ball game. Check out the Twins in the field. The Major League debut for Brent Rooker in left field. Jake Cave in center. Marwin Gonzalez in right. Twins uh, put Max Kepler in the injured list. More on that later. Donaldson, Polanco, Adrianza, and Sano, the infielders. And Jeffers behind the plate. So you've got Ryan Jeffers, a rookie behind the plate. And Brent Rooker's uh, been waiting a long time for this day, getting the start in left field. Very well here at home. Hoping that'll be the case again today. The Menards batting order for game one. Jorge Polanco, Josh Donaldson. Nelson Cruz, Miguel Sano, Marwin Gonzalez, A. Ray Adrianza, Brent Rooker, Jake Cave, and Ryan Jeffers. Today's starting pitcher stats brought to you by Home Furniture. Take a look at Matthew Boyd. It's been a rough go for him, but a little better in his last start, and he's given up a lot of hits. I think the Twins are going to have to take what he gives you. He's going to try and induce soft contact. you got to use the big part of the field off this guy. If he throws you something soft, it's okay to hit it soft as long as you find a hole. <laughs> 